It's going to make it very difficult. It's a great, great, great ability against Bristleback. Uh, even if Arteezy ch chooses to go for a BKB later, the puck can actually get an axe, and it's a 4.5 second lockdown where Arteezy is stuck in an area. And if there's one thing you don't want to be with Bristol, it's immobile. All right, well, let's go over the lineup, shall we? So for IG, we have Lua playing the offlane Phoenix. Chuan, as we talked about on the IO, burning on that beastly looking Chaos Knight. Ferrari's going to be playing the mid puck, and Faith on the support. Witch Doctor. Interesting to see a Mango on the Wisp, by the way. That's a, Mango! That's, that's cool. I That's one of the first things I thought of when the Mango came out, because I like playing Wisp. I'm like, ooh, I can instantly inject mana into and my And it's a ally. lot of mana, too. You know, it, it's kind of like a cheap soul ring, I guess, in that sense. But hey, for certain heroes uh, that want that quick burst of mana, it's that could be sick pretty for Chaos yeah. Knight. It's actually really, really good. He really needs it. Right, he, he was one of the first people I thought of, by the way, for a Coddle pairing. Because of that low cooldown on the stun, plus he just yes. a hero that needs mana, that could be serial, you know, very awesome, but... Yeah. For secret, we got Puppy on the Chen. Big surprise. Uh, we'll be in the Radiant Jungle. Zai will be playing Darks here. No surprises either. Arteezy on the Bristleback. That was the, the question mark in the start. Who's going to be playing that? Looks like it will be safe lane. S4, mid lane on Storm. And then finally Rubik on arguably his most renowned hero. Rubik on his most renowned hero. No, see, he's so good at the hero, Rubik plays Kuro. Yeah. That's the thing. I agree. I, Wait, I can't did, did I say that. something yeah, weird? Yeah, you, you said it wrong. You I, always I do. do. I was going to oh, let you go, but he called you out, and that's, just, that's how did. you guys I like always go. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's good. Yeah, most most casters would just let it go. This like, guy's not mention it. I just... I put it all out there, you know, at least I'm honest, Cinder. Like, I'm with you on that. You know, we have Cinder here, so if there's any chance that we can go, <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, bro. <laughs> get up. All right, so we have a few wards up, and mid lane, Arteezy, actually, against the, the Puck. What do you think about this matchup? Uh, what's the base damage of Bristle again? So Puck's got a 1, actually, already. So they were expecting this. Interesting. Uh, there's a full damage discrepancy for uh, for the Bristle back, so I want to say this is a Puck-favored lane, especially starting out with a Magic Wand there for Ferrari is going to put them in a great position. I, I'll, maybe they did figure it out. Maybe he wanted the Wand against the Storm as well for the Remnants, but regardless, this is going to be a, a nice lane for Ferrari. I think he will be taking pretty good control of that. And I guess the reasoning for Secret here is they want to shut down the Phoenix a bit more by safe laning the Storm. Uh, either that, or they were afraid of the rotations early on ganking off Storm a couple of times. But this this lane is not going to be easy for Arteezy. I haven't seen Arteezy mid in a while. How often do they put him mid these days? Usually when he gets I mean, Shadow Fiend, right? They put him mid if they go down that road? Yeah. But he's played that in the, hmm. the safe lane as well, I believe. Oh, yeah. I, get, I, I guess that's the good thing about S4 and RTs. They can kind of switch roles to some degree at least. Like maybe S4 not so much, but he usually plays. If he's going to play the carry role, it's usually like a tanky shit type. But uh, he will be playing the storm spirit this time. Are they going to push out Luo? Telekinesis on top of him. He still has his dive up, so he'll live to see another day. But it's going to be a tough lane for him. He is level two though. I'm curious to see if S4 will get uh, a point in Electric Vortex, which we generally don't see Storm Spirits do nowadays since it slows both you and the target down. But for this kind of lane, it can put so much pressure on the Phoenix getting Vortex that the Phoenix has to use Icarus Dive. And then if you lift him midair, that's a kill. Uh, you saw right there, the, the only way Secret really pressure him is by lifting him in the first place and then he can just jump out. Why don't they get Electric Vortex? You said because it's, it's always slowed. Like yeah, it has. Uh, I think people just realize that as far as skill build goes on level 6, you don't really want a Vortex unless you have heroes that synergize very, very well <laughs> with... Uh, um, that synergize very well with the lockdown. Storm simply deals more damage as a hero by not skilling that ability. Which is, I guess it's kind of kind of counterintuitive since it is a stun. You would think, oh, I hold them in place longer, I can get more hits off. But the extra point in Overload is actually more valuable. And you got to remember, Storm Spirit's base move speed was turned down a little bit. Five, uh, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. I heard there was a big impact for the, you know mid lane Storm to like to adventure and try to go for the runes. It, you know, can't. and Blitz did cry that night. Good. I was wondering. Well, mid lane so far, Arteezy's doing pretty decent. 15 yeah. and three versus the 14 on the puck, so pretty even overall. Yeah, he's doing better than I thought he would. Now that he picks up on some levels, this is when Puck can't really challenge him anymore. Puck needs to win this lane very early, and he drained all Arteezy's regen. I mean, he had four tangos and a salve, and all of it got burned within like two minutes. Uh, but now that Arteezy has two points in Bristol back, it's going to be difficult for Ferrari to put out any sort of uh, significant harassment. Well, Lua level two and a half. What level is Zai at the opposing offlane? Level one, so he is in struggle. How's the jungling Darkseer these days? 
if he it's better adventure. than it used to be, right? With a new Dark Pine Shell, I would assume if you like triple stack camps and you can have three Iron Shells instead of two, it should be easier. The problem for Secret is they want Puppy to have access to the jungle. Uh, he could stack the hard camp for Zai and farm everything else, but unless it makes sense in his rotation, he's going to be sacrificing part of his own farm for that. And mm -hmm. As far as Secret's game plan goes, I think it's... Oh, well, okay, may maybe that is what they're doing. He stacked that one twice. Uh, they have... This is going to be a triple on the big camp. I think they'll let... Ar Either they will pick the, the Wild Wing and farm it together, or he's going to let Zai have it alone. Uh, well, but it is important for Arctic. Picking up that Invis rune, Arteezy. Who got that rune bottom? Arteezy got a bounty, Houston. Oh, okay. Venture back to mid lane, where he's doing just fine. Of course, there is an Invis Witch Doctor that he knows about. So he's probably going to play a little bit more passive, although I don't know how much kill potential the Puck and Witch Doctor would have against the Bristleback. Especially considering Witch Doctor's only level 2. You can take an Illusory Orb, Faith. Coming in to perhaps try to get a stun. Needs a second bounce. Not going to get it. Maledict applied. Arteezy running the opposite way. Is he going to get out? Bottling up. And there's nobody really even close. He's just going to TP out to safety. With that golden compendium teleportation. I think... Uh... IG couldn't really go for that kill because I think Ferrar already had two or three stacks on himself of, of quills, so he was forced to use his wand to even stay alive and then didn't really want to pursue that too hard, especially after Bristleback took the turn he did and, and had his back toward them. So nice has a play from Arteezy not getting ganked out there and getting back. They do, of course, pressure him a little bit, but that's not Oh, really dive is down. They might be able to get this first blood. A couple more right clicks will do it. In fact, the Fade Bolt for Kuroki ensures first blood for himself and secrets that's on the board. Course. If he wants to buy that. After they uh, got reduced in cost. That's actually one of the items that got buffed most in this patch. And we have talked about it on occasion, but it, it's a really significant buff. 100 gold less on an item like that, in addition to not even costing mana to cast anymore, is is really important. Isn't that for Guardian Greaves, no mana cost? Or is that for Arcane Boost? It's as for Arcane well? Boost, too. Okay. Yeah, it's really, really good. The Guardian Greaves do remove the mana cost for the mech or the heal. That's right. So yeah. that's where they are. Is uh, Arteezy going to be picking up a this game? Is that the, the plan? I think they put it on Chen. Well, they could put it on Bristle, too, and Chen could go over. But the question is, like, what else would what would, uh, what would they get on the Chen? I think it's better to get the mech on Chen, and then it's possible Arteezy... There's an item on Bristle right now that's really, really good, which is the new uh, the Solar Crest. Yeah. It's a very nice item. 30% evasion against Chaos Knight could be very, very good this game. Of course, can also use it aggressively for a minus 10 armor, which synergizes it incredibly well with both the Bristle and uh, Quills, as well as his own attack damage. Um, could be seeing him grabbing that item here. And of course, like you said, go for the mech. It's a very good tank item for Bristle as well, but... I'm just trying to imagine what, what that would benefit Chen, like what he would instead. I guess they could get an Axe on Chen faster, maybe a Vlad's, but... I would say Chen's most likely. Kuroki's attempting to defend this lane, it's already half HP, this top tower. Lowe's here to ensure that it will go down. Burning did get the proc, the extra proc of the illusions from Phantasm, so... As a result, doing a hell of a lot more damage. Looking for the ninth attempt. Fortification is popped by Secret. Zai getting an eye hunt shell off, but I'm pretty sure they don't want to go for this. Alright, they're gonna get the tower. Zai in the meantime getting stunned by the Chaos Bolt along with the Fire Spirits. Double kill for Arteezy right off the bat on the two supports, and Chaos Knight drops as a result as Lua on the run. Dive is down, another Quill Spray might be enough to take him out. That is four kills in the blink of an eye for Secret. And it's a 5 0 advantage just like that. All they lose is the tier 1 tower. Yeah, they waved that out very nicely. I, I'm i not sure if Phantasm actually expired or if his illusions had just died to the tower, but... Yeah, they were pretty low. Yeah, these Chaos Knight illusions are not that strong yet, so... Uh, Rubik with the Fate Bolt can do a lot, and of course the Storm Spirit with just one Remnant dealing a lot of damage as well. Yeah, really good rotation here from Secret. Four kills, like you said, and probably getting a tower of their own, so... Taking advantage of IG really showing their hand there for a long time. And, Managing to get himself a very, very good trade. TP by Puck. Throws out the Illusory Orb. He's actually in trouble now. He's gonna get slowed by the Viscous Nasal Goo. Has to pop his ult just for Arteezy. Faith and company are here to assist. Arteezy gets stunned twice, but it's only a one second. He's gonna take a ton of damage and will drop as a result. S4 helping take him out. So it's 6 to 0 for Secret in this very early stage, just completely dominating right now. They're reading this game it's so well. I felt like they already anticipated what was going to be happening in that top lane. They made the call to rotate. It felt like at the drop of a hat, Arteezy was there from the mid lane, and S4 also engaging. And 
already. You could just feel Secret trying to take advantage of their power. They move right into the jungle wall. They feel like they have the upper hand in any sort of fight. They know Coil's down. They know there's a lot of cooldowns on the side of IG, and they're not level 6 yet for some of their support. So why don't we go ahead and just take away anything they've built up in their jungle? And a big part of Secret's success so far in this game is the difference in levels on the supports. If you check out Rubik currently level 6 to the 3 of Witch Doctor and 4 of Witch Doctor, a massive lead for Kuro. Um, and IG's lineup, this is one thing we didn't really talk so much about. I was very focused on the mid-game part of things, but if their early game laning stage doesn't go well, you have a Witch Doctor, you have a Wisp, who are, let's be honest, pretty weak until level 6, can't really do so much, especially the Wisp when, when they didn't get to use the Chaos Knight to find any kills, and Luo getting shut down in the Phoenix in the offlanes, well, IG actually don't have the tools they need to fight. I think if they try to fight again before they have Supernova, or maybe even the Death Ward, they're just going to lose almost no matter what. We have a smoke by Secret. Can Wanting to continue this pressure. Ferrari might be the front of the damage here. Telekinesis, Illusory Orb. He's going to phase shift, silence out, but it might be too much damage. A nice stun from Faith. Going to keep everybody at bay, but he might die as a result of this, and it looks like that's definitely going to be the case. There's a double TP. Coil used again on one here. It's hard easy. The tank is something much. He's going to take the chaos. Well, four seconds on finally, he gets a kill. And here comes Luo with a nice dive, but not much follow. In fact, the follow will come from S4, <laughs> who just drops him. 8 to 1 advantage for Secret. They're going to look for this tier 1 tower mid. Wait, what did Luo die to? Did he just S4 is just old. I think he just S4 to make that. When he jumped in, he was already dead. I think Coffee just killed him with two tornadoes. Oh, oh my man. lord, they're getting rolled. Mm. Easy kills once again here for Team Secret. And you're right, by the way. Very impressive. Artizi's getting a back. You got lucky this time. <laughs> man, I'm good. Competitive insight right here. I, I don't think we're going to be seeing okay. Secret let what? up. Kuro dove all that way to try to kill the Wisp and didn't manage. Was it worth it? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. I'm not even going to blame, blame weapons for not catching that on camera because who does that, right? Who, who goes for that kill? <laughs> that was really far in. Shout out it's to weapons though, being our we've actually We've seen Kuro making these kind of plays uh, from time to time where he goes for those really deep dives on the support minute 10 and uh, is quite often successful with it. But it's one of those high risk, high reward kind of plays and does come out. Uh, we talked about this a bit, IG's lineup, like, um, Witch Doctor pretty good against Chen because of the cask having a longer duration on creeps, uh, Phoenix, they don't really have a great way to cancel the egg, the fact that he's not even 6 yet, I mean, that's the, that's the major problem right now, is the levels for these supports in offlane. And it's the trade-off IG got was we were talking about Zai's Darkseer being very low level. That's the only trade they got. They kept the tri lane top the whole time when maybe they could benefit a lot from putting either the Witch Doctor or the Wisp on to help Luo as speaking of Witch Doctor, he is my mega dead. Well, Phoenix did get his level six though, so we'll see how that comes into play. Probably gonna try to get a little bit more farm in the mid lane. Currently at 2100 gold, only it's gonna be blink 150 away from blink. And there is the mech that you talked about on RTZ. The thing I notice about these these lineups, uh, with the new patch at least, is you kind of have to have a mix of physical and magic damage. You can't really just you can focus on one, I guess. But there's a lot of items now that you can counter both magic and physical. Solar Crest being one for physical, obviously, which I don't know if we're gonna see this game, but. I think one of the stronger items for sure that was, that's been implemented. And looking for their... Oh, they didn't get it, did they? But they're doing a kind of a split push. They might get it now. This is a big problem for IG. They kind of need to buy time. The Witch Doctor is more or less a non-factor right now. Faith is, is not having the best game ever here. And the Chaos Knight still needs to find a couple of levels before he can really become a threat. Same, I guess, goes for the puck. Do we have four points both? of Puck's nukes yet, I'm not sure. Okay, we do, he is level 10. So he's actually fine, after all. But it is it is very tricky for IG. They're gonna go for a Midas on Burning, which is, by the way, a very, considering the laning, this is a very late Midas. Uh, they did trial in him safe lane and just allow him all the farm in the world, but he did go for the Treads build up first, and this oh. is... Oh man, uh -oh. secret. They see it pretty much right away. He'll get it off, but Chuan is gonna find that look at Nisus and it's soon to be dead. Now the kill goes away of Secret, even Hand of God popped. That was for mid lane, I suppose. S4 is going to live. Burning did get out and used his Midas, which is important, obviously, but... What do you think, then? I mean, is that... I mean, the very late Midas, but considering the push that's coming out from Secret, I mean, you could use it on Chen Cubes, I suppose, but... not. I mean, not the most consistent thing. Very long uh -huh. cooldown. 
I don't like the Midas in this case because I feel like Chaos Knight has to tank up to be able to fight. Like, I think standard treads into armlet build would probably be the better choice. So Secret, if they want to kill the Phantasm Illusions, have to start committing a lot more to them and, and Burden gets more of a presence in the fight. As it stands right now, they probably... Oh, puppy. Oh, yeah. Should take be a reality rift chaos bolts, right clicks. Even gonna use the ult for this, which is a really long cooldown. They're gonna find the kill. And they still try. <laughs> the creeps, on the other hand, are probably stronger than Chen himself, and like you said, they end up training the kill. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Puppy's gonna be very happy with that exchange. Although, I th who died first in that? Uh, Puppy did, I think. Okay. But still, even then. No, wait, Faith died first. It's even, even better. better. Yeah. Well, Bernie's gonna show off his uh, illusions from Phantasm here. He got lucky again, by the way. It's it's one or two, right? Level one? Yes. Okay. So, so far 100% RNG, but still not working out to his favor overall. Arteezy going to be going down the road Vanguard, I imagine into the Crimson Guard. Could be pretty beneficial against all those illusions coming out from CK, so a good solid grab there. Yeah, they're, they're looking to build a pipe on the Dark there as well. This looks like game plan for Secret, where they try to siege high ground at like minute 20 or 25. Yeah, they have their... Oh. They have Aegis and the Pike. Nice to nice deny. What's Puppy getting? Is this an Axe build-up where you get the Ogre first? Because it, it's like it could be an open-ended build where he doesn't know just yet if he wants to get something like a Halberd, uh, or if he just had the right gold amount at the time and didn't want to pay for the Well, how good is Halberd in this game? I mean, for the Sorry, Evasion, it's pretty good, but like the Disarm is only good against the main CK. Well, actually, any of them. I guess, yeah, he can take one, but it's... That's one out of however many, right? So. It seems kind of underwhelming. Is there any, th any new item we're not thinking about with the Overclub? Yeah, the, uh, the Silver Edge, of course. The I Chen am. Silver Edge. That's new good. meta. Apply, apply Break to... Oh, Ferrari Invis looking for a Dream Coil, perhaps. Might have to give up this tower, though. And it looks like that's going to be the case. So another tower going the way of Secret. They're just going to transition their way to the mid lane. Puppy did run into Ferrari. I don't think he noticed, though. Unless there's like a, a magical sentry placement here. I think Ferrari will live yet again. He really wants to go in this. He has the two least tanky heroes. Oh, they oh. put it down! Waiting with the ball of the Dream Boy as well. And here comes the angle. Nothing they can do about it. Karoki's going to first call this engagement. Puppy with a nice heal. Keep himself alive. Juan giving the first sniper IG. So it's a one for one to start off this way. Luo with the dive, trying to get them out of dodge. Puts a little damage up, but Bird is going to take the front. Look at the damage with the Ion Chill applied to Arteezy. They take out three. Luo, no dive left. Don't think they're going to find this unless that four comes out of nowhere. Ferrari silent, stunned, and brought down again. That is four for two, and all they lost was two supports from Secret. Holy jeez. And that was with Ferrari getting opened on and still getting all of his spells off. I... I think IG take that fight if they have Phantasm, but without that ready, they have no chance right now. They're simply way too far behind it. Phantasm is the only ability that allows them to really threaten the Bristleback at all. And same for the Storm Spirit. They actually can't kill those two heroes right now. Um, so big trouble here for IG. Given the circumstance, getting two for four is maybe not the worst ever, but the problem is there's like nothing... There just doesn't seem to be anything down the line that's just going to be, this is our comeback moment. Because they went for the Midas. It's, even if they farm for the next 10 or 20 minutes, I don't think that's enough. Well, Secret now is finishing yeah. up a bunch of their work. So Pipe on and Zai. Yep. Ortiz is going to the Crimson Guard after he brought up Goddle and Medallion on Chen. So perhaps going for the Soul Crest with the casual Ogre Club to boot. That's what my guess would be. Broken going down very quickly. Don't go by you must have missed this. Storm will pick it up with a fist to Ames carries it. Ames is going to go right in. Why the Witch Doctor kill? Luo has died, but he gets oh, stunned right wow. off the bat in the middle of the dive. <sighs> and 19 to 5. Secret continues to roll on. Everything going in their favor. It feels like almost ever since that four-man takedown in the top lane, they knew they had an advantage. They didn't want to let it up. They're not looking to split apart, risk any sort of relocate pickoffs. They are ready to move as a five-man and just continue to take advantage from there. And just on the note of not being able to do a lot outside of Phantasm, IG have a lineup where there's a lot of builds around these ultimates from all of their heroes. And when they're not in fighting shape, 
they can't do anything. This is a very, very similar performance from Secret from start to what looks like could be finished in a few minutes. Well, IG, IG has every to try to fight with Fanta now. Uh, I think the pipe is still going to go in. Doesn't bit. get the proc on the third illusion this time. Arteezy taking a lot of damage. Shit, he has the mech over. Pops the Crimson Arch. One and a half HP. Ferrari is destroyed by S4. Fiend's egg stuns too. A lot of fall off to speak of. Finally, they take on Zai. Who didn't even place his ultimate, actually. As 4 gets 3 seconds stunned by KF4. The Aegis will fall. We can be back very shortly. Tier 3 tech. Quite close to the As 4 is just going to finish it up. And questions do they want to continue? They lost. Now. Oh, oh, the 3 seconds on S4. Oh, they're into damage. Puppy keeping him alive with the heal. Will zip out just fine. Chuan taking a telekinesis to the face. Puppy and Kuroki. Perhaps going to fall back now. Maledict. And the 4 second stun should ensure that they'll wait this time, so they successfully defend, or do they? S4 coming in for support, takes out Faith, zips right on back out. The Campbell stolen, used on burning himself. And Secret might get a Rax after all said and done. Looking so strong in this early stage. I really yeah, like how they did that, by the way. They sent back RTZ, maybe even preemptively, but they kept IG there and made it almost for him to make the long trip back, and then they knew they could take things out. This is one lane looking to be the tier two mid as the next target. Zai already pushing in the lane. Maybe they're going to play it a little bit safe here. Probably aware that has all the spells available. That, that, he, had the, he had Dream Oil from the beginning, too. He didn't even use it, actually. They all had their ultimates. Sure, which, and uh, even well, Witch Doctor, well, Witch Doctor got blown yeah. up, but. Did he use simple. it and it's just off cooldown? It's a uh, fairly it's, short cooldown, but. It's possible. That fight's, that fight's extended forever. Oh, Ferrari, that's really greedy farming. Oh, my. Oh, uh, Kuroki, getting that kill for yeah. himself. So that, very uncharacteristic play from Ferrari to, uh, to go for a greedy play like that. If he wants to farm the wave in that way, he can also blink silence and then orb out. Well, CK rounding out his uh, BKB, just the recipe away, another 700 or so to go. But they're going to lose the tier 2 while farming this, in all likelihood. Bloodstone picked up by Storm, who, on top of the Orca that he already had. S4 looking extremely good. Rubik picks up a point booster, I believe that's going to be the Agonim Scepter. What is it, a 5 cooldown on Spellsteel? The Ag uh, 2. 2 seconds. I think. Right? Yeah. That got fucked. It okay. used to be. So you're excused. <laughs> I'm excused, thank you so much. Well, there's some pretty good spells to steal too. I think Witch Doctor Old Aghanim Scepter version, that's pretty dirty. Although, I don't know if we've even seen Old yet, have we? Death Ward? I haven't noticed it. Uh, there's been one Death Ward in base. Okay. That's the only one we saw. Well, RT's in the company. Perhaps looking for another push. They're gonna smoke up, though. I just basically need a miracle fight here to make this happen. A miracle? It's... They're gonna need to kill Arteezy probably before he gets sent back. They're looking at him. Four seconds stun, Burnt pops his ult. They're gonna try to do as much damage as Arteezy, but he's not dropping at all. They're gonna focus on Ag. That's gonna be two deaths right at the beginning of this fight. Burnt make already getting slowed. And in all like they brought down a double chaos ball taken out. Ferrari now, the fourth dead for IG. Arteezy still lives, and GG is called... Secret. Dominating fashion, take game one. I mean, what can you so do? So, like, we predicted it's going to be close games. Uh, I said IG had a great round. It got destroyed. But I... So, I thought IG's draft was good, and I still think they could have definitely dealt with that game, but they really...